So today I'm going to show you how to repair or replace the charging port on a Samsung Galaxy Tab T515. So as you can see, when we plug the charger in, it shows charging sign, but actually it doesn't charge in at all. So Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1. So as you can see, all we see is warning sign, or it could be a liquid water in the charging port. However, it doesn't charge at all. <clears throat> the first thing I would advise to do is make sure the charging port is dried. It's not, not wet. Make sure you clean it, you can use an open tray pin or you can use a needle. You can use a toothbrush. Which one then? You can use a hair dryer or whatever, just to make sure it's dry, not a wet. On this one as we can see it's clean and it's not wet so I assume it's a charging port fault so we need to replace it I'll go ahead and check it once again yes as you can see it's the same issue, so in this case, we need to open the screen to replace the charging pair or to repair it. So, first thing we need to do is taking the SIM tray out, memory tray out. And then we need to heat, heat it up this bit. I usually use a CPB mat, but you can use anything like hair dryer to heat it up. As you can see, there is already crack. This one, so there's a crack on the screen. I have to do it carefully. So if there's a crack or the screen broke, yeah, you need to be very careful when you take the screen out. And when we do it, we have to be careful. There's a connector, not cutting the connector. So I'm going to disconnect the screen. And then we're going to remove all screw from there. So all screw being removed. So make sure there's uh, there's few screws, which is I don't need the, the sticker, so make sure you remove them. Let's fold it down. And then now. I'm going to take this bit out.
as a charging port and then I'm gonna disconnect the battery then disconnect the speakers charging connector and the speaker again As you can see, this one, the charging, the charging port seems fine. There is no sign of water pointing to the charging port. But anyhow, we need to replace it. So there's one pin, and there's another one. Just pull it off. all on I'll go new one now I'll just chop it all on back connect the back speaker so before I connect the battery I'm gonna connect the LCD screen and then I will connect the battery and I'll check the charging port. So I'm going to check now to make sure it's charging now. Yes. As you can see it's charging and the charging port is working so the previous charging port was damaged I mean physically I cannot see it's damaging but anyhow on a board is damaged when it needs replacement sometimes this is caused by overcharging if you leave the tablet on a charge for a couple hours or for over the night Yeah, so I'm going to disconnect the, the charger and the battery, so we're going to put this one back. I'll disconnect the screen again, once again. So what I'm going to do to screw back all the screw. So we're going to put the uh, whole screw back. So I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put screen back. Just make sure you do it gently. Screen connect and not get damaged. And once again, before we reseal the back, make sure everything works and the tablet charged. So 
So I'm going to turn on the top of this little So yes, it does work. I'm just going to check, make sure. So we're going to disconnect the charger and turn it off. I'll just put some glue to stick it back properly you can use any but this is one of the most powerful glue but please make sure you're not using super glue Just put SIM tray back and you need to go. That was a SIM card I have to put back on. And that's it. So this is for our video today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching.